Hi, and thanks for joining me for this review of the Total Gym Apex G3. I'll cover the features and benefits of the model, how it compares to some of the other Total Gym models, and who I think it might be best suited for. And if you're thinking of picking up a Total Gym, check out the links in the video description. I'll even include a link for 10% off the Total Gym Fit. When you use those links, it helps support my channel at no additional cost to you. The Apex G3 is the mid-tier model of the Apex line of Total Gym, which includes the G1 base model and the G5 top tier model. All three models in the Apex line are considered small frame Total Gyms. What that means is their steel frames are not as heavy duty or strong as Total Gym's higher end consumer models like the Total Gym Fit and XLS. Because the frame is smaller, the maximum user weight capacity of the Apex G3 is 150 pounds less than the Total Gym Fit. The Apex series are considered entry-level Total Gym models. The Apex G3 comes with a two-piece wing attachment, the triceps dip bars, the leg pulley system, the exercise and workout guide that attaches to the top of the tower, and a small squat stand. And speaking of attachments, just remember that with the exception of the squat stand and Pilates toe bar, the attachments on small frame and large frame models are not interchangeable. The Apex G3 has a maximum weight capacity of 300 pounds and it does accept a weight bar for external weight plates for added resistance. I like using loop resistance bands instead of weight plates because they're less expensive, they're not as heavy to move around, and they don't take up a lot of space. I found these really nice SunPow loop resistance bands on Amazon. If you're interested in learning more, I'll leave a link to them in the video description. A few things I noticed when using the Apex G3. It has a little less padding on the glide board, but it still felt comfortable. It uses a lower grade hard plastic wheel. The glide was fairly smooth, but it was a little bit noisier than the Total Gym Fit. It wasn't bad or obnoxious, it, it was just noticeable. Although the G3 is smaller frame, it didn't feel flimsy. It has decent build quality, and overall it's a great value for the price. Some disadvantages of the G3. It has the lower maximum weight capacity of just 300 pounds, the glide board is shorter and narrower than what you'll find on the Fit or the XLS. And compared to the Total Gym Fit and XLS, it does have a lower build quality. The board has less padding. The handles aren't quite as nice. There's less padding on the wing attachment. And it does have those lower quality rollers. For me, the biggest disappointment of this model is this extra small, teeny tiny squat stand. Uh, to be honest, I think it's a bit of a joke. Um, I would highly recommend getting an XL squat stand if you do purchase this model. The XL squat stand is much more functional and it's much nicer on your knees. If you're interested in that XL squat stand, I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Next, let's talk about some of the advantages of the G3. First, it accepts a weight bar. Some small frame models don't, so you can easily add weight plates or resistance bands for an additional challenge. Another advantage is that it's smaller and lighter in weight, so it may be easier for some people to move around. And although the glide board is a little smaller, the rails are about the same length as the Total Gym Fit, so you should experience a similar range of motion. And just like all Total Gym models, it can be folded up pretty easily for storage when it's not being used. And to top it all off, it's much more affordable. It's about $1,200 less than the Total Gym Fit. So who's the Apex G3 good for? It makes a great beginner model for someone interested in trying out the Total Gym but who doesn't want the expense of the higher end models. And quite honestly, this is a perfectly fine choice for anyone who doesn't want to drop $1,500 or more on a total gym. 
The fact is they all pretty much do the same job as long as you use it consistently. It's also good if you're not looking to load a lot of additional weight plates. Keep in mind it has a maximum capacity of 300 pounds. But of course this whole argument can be eliminated by using resistance bands instead of weight plates. If you want a slightly more compact model, the Apex might be a good choice. It only weighs 53 pounds compared to about 70 pounds for the Fit or XLS, and it's about 2 inches more narrow. So it would be easier to move around for someone who's a little bit smaller or who doesn't have as much upper body strength. The Apex would also make a great secondary model for someone who wants to keep two total gyms set up at the same time. For example, you could use the Apex with a cyclo trainer and have another total gym set up so you can move quickly between cardio and strength training. It would also be great as a compact model for traveling in a camper or RV or as a secondary total gym in a cabin or vacation home. If you're interested in picking up one of the Apex models, I'll leave links in the video's description. If you're interested in the Total Gym Fit, XLS, or GTS models, you can save an additional 10% when you use one of the links in the video description. When you use those links, it helps support my channel at no additional cost to you. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back here soon.